Hello friends, it is Friday, May 28th, and coming to you with another video message. I'm here at church in my office, uh, getting ready for Dennis Underwood's Celebration of Life service here in just about 45 minutes, and just figured it was a good time to, to send out a video. Um, obviously, Dennis is on my mind, my heart, as I'm sure he is for 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 all of us today, and, and trying to um, just process that and the emotions that we feel whenever we lose someone that we love, someone we care about, someone uh, who is important in our lives and to our congregation. And, and Dennis was one of those people, uh, just such a, a good guy, a, a kind person, a gentle heart, um, and, and his sense of humor. I think we would all agree, uh, what a great sense of humor. I had the privilege of being at staff lunches with him while Cheryl was on staff when I started here and and just always a, just such a quick wit and loved puns and all those things and so I definitely will miss that and, and just his um, his countenance and his <clears throat> personality and all that he brought to this place and um, it got me thinking about a scripture driving in today uh, Ecclesiastes 3 uh, the opening verses of that which I'm sure will be many familiar to many of us says this, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So that's uh, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. Great verses. I'm sure as I read those, many of you have the bird song going in your head. I know that's true for me. I'm sure that would have been true for Dennis, seeing the the types of music he was into, some that will be played at the service today, I'm sure he would have been thinking of that song as well. And and it's, uh, it's such a good <laughs> scripture because there all are, are all these seasons. And, and sometimes I think we feel like we, we're supposed to just be happy all the time as Christians or never feel those other emotions. And, and scripture gives us permission to do that and, and that there are seasons for those things. And, and especially verse 4, a time to weep and a time for laugh. Uh, a time to weep and a time to laugh. That's so true. Anytime we have a celebration of life, it's a time for weeping, for grieving the loss of a loved one, but it's also a time to laugh, to celebrate, to share memories, uh, especially of a person like Dennis, like all the laughter and humor that he brought. And so there's a time for those things. And I hope that we take the time for those things, especially to weep and to grieve because uh, too often we don't do that. We just bottle it up, we stuff it down, and and we need to get that out. I think God made us in a way where we're supposed to get that out. And um, and especially at a time like this, we need to grieve that sense of loss, even though we celebrate that Dennis is home with Jesus and will be forever. I have no doubt about that, okay? He had a strong faith in Jesus, and so the promise is his of eternal life. So we celebrate that. We should have joy in that. Uh, it shouldn't just be a somber event. It should be a celebration of his life here, but especially his life eternal with Jesus Christ. But it's also a time to weep. It's a time to mourn and grieve the loss of a friend. And so I hope you all take the time to do that. Uh, whether you're here at the service or not, uh, I just I hope and pray you will take time, whether it's for Dennis or for any loved one in your life that you've lost, recently um, or even a long time ago where that pain is still there if you've never grieved allow yourself the time to do it permit yourself uh, to grieve and to mourn it is so important even jesus did it right jesus saw their weeping at the death of lazarus when lazarus was sick and on the point of death and he wept okay <laughs> it is to be human is to do that and so he examples that models that for us exemplifies that so we should do that as well. So do that, mourn for Dennis, grieve for him or for any other loved ones, especially for those who are in Jesus. Celebrate, have joy, and have hope above all, knowing he's home with Jesus. And for those that you know that you love, especially those maybe who are sick or, uh, you know, if they don't know Jesus, 
now is the perfect time to tell them. There's no better time. And we should do that for everyone because we don't know what tomorrow brings. But we know there's always the time to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, to tell people about his love for them, to tell them that it's not about if they've done enough or if they ever will do enough. It's about that Jesus has done enough. And if they just put their trust in him, that they will have not only eternal life, the greatest gift, but I believe also life in abundance here and now. It doesn't mean this life will be easy. There's no promise of that. But it will be good and abundant and filled with love because it will be surrounded by his love. So I know this is a shorter message, but i got to go get ready for the service. But I just want to say God bless you all. Uh, you're in my prayers as you uh, go through this morning. Again, whether you're here or not, uh, especially if you knew Dennis well, as you, as you grieve, uh, but also as you celebrate that he is home with the Lord. So have a great weekend, long weekend. We, we give thanks to, uh, as we remember, all those who sacrificed so much for our freedoms this weekend and uh, Memorial Day on Monday. And let's not take that for granted either, uh, that there are those who have given so much and who continue to do so for the freedoms we enjoy. And as Jesus said, greater love has no one than this, that they would lay down their life for their friends um, we remember that this weekend, and, uh, and may we do the same, even if it's not in that same way. Let's put others first. Let's give of ourselves for the sake of others. So God bless you. I uh, look forward to preaching this weekend on this Sunday on Jesus teaching on storing up treasures in heaven. I uh, look forward to that and connecting with you either in person, if you're here on Sunday, or through the live stream. So God bless you, friends.